Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and Happy New Year! That's right, 2020 is upon us, and as I promised, as per your request, and really highly requested, we are doing a top 10 food challenges of 2019. So this is not necessarily like I'm going to start with 10, count down to 1, but it's going to be a lump sum of the top 10 most memorable food challenges that I did over this past year. So let's start at the beginning of the year, beginning of 2019, so like January, we'll just go all the way down to December. So let's get started. First challenge I want to mention is the B44 Burger Challenge. This is at Robbie's Smokehouse and Burger Bar, um, just outside of Montreal, Quebec. I believe it's called something like Salisbury de Valley Field, Quebec. Excuse my pronunciation, but excellent challenge. It was about a 14 and a half pound burger, very large, but the brisket on the burger was so delicious. The burger was tasty. Um, everything just tasted great. And what really made that experience a number one or a top 10 experience was just the overall staff, the hospitality, the courtesy. Uh, everybody there was just excellent and it was such, like, such a fun experience. So absolutely, Robbie's would recommend and it definitely is making my list of my top 10 memorable challenges this year. The second challenge in my top 10, which was also done in February, is the Colossal Pizza Challenge at Capelli's. And this is in Orchard Park, New York, so just outside of Buffalo. Um, so this pizza itself just had so much meat on it, so many toppings, and honestly, it was this challenge pizza specifically. I tried the other pizzas there, and I can't quite say the same. But this challenge pizza specifically was literally one of the best pizzas, if not maybe the best pizza I've ever had, but definitely like some of the best pizza. Um, it was a pretty cool experience overall, no complaints, but really what's making this a special challenge, um, of course I got to hang out with my good friend Chad and George, great experience with them, but just the taste of the food. Like seriously, one of the best pizzas I've ever, ever, ever had. There was literally multiple pounds, pounds of bacon and meat on that thing. It was delicious. So that's why it is making the top 10 of 2019. So now this one isn't really a food challenge, but it was a challenge I did or an event I did for charity and this has to be mentioned. So this was the time I raised over $4,000 for a crisis youth shelter in Toronto with Adamson Barbecue. So Adamson Barbecue literally has the absolute best brisket I have ever had and I really do think it is contested for some of the best brisket in the world. I am serious and I've eaten a lot of brisket. The food there is absolutely delicious, the overall experience is really cool, the staff are great, like really down to earth, just great people overall. Not to mention the absolute like monumental you know capacity of raising over four thousand dollars by eating food for like those in need. So why this is a memorable challenge is the excellent quality of the food, literally the best brisket ever I've ever had. Um, the absolute staff that were just so cool, and then the actual nature of the event. The fourth food challenge we're going to mention is one pretty much based on taste, it, almost solely based on taste. Um, so this is going to be the Barrel Sandwich at Brawler's Deli in downtown Buffalo, Buffalo New York. Um, so what was really cool about this challenge, honestly, the sandwich was just delicious. I like sandwiches, I'm, I'm uh, like, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest sandwich person, but I like sandwiches, and this thing was so good. Like, I would just go have that exact sandwich. It's one of those items where like, you would just go buy it. It was delicious. So that's number four. And it's just making the challenge list because it's absolutely delicious. It's also not a huge challenge. So if you wanted to actually get into food challenges, which I'm not encouraging, but just saying if you did, it's probably a good place to start. It's about maybe four pounds, three and a half, four pounds, and I believe you have a whole hour. So yeah, tasty challenge. So by this time we are in May and we are going to go with the fifth memorable challenge being the Chicken Wing Challenge at the Winter Inn. Um, so this is a challenge in Michigan. Randy came and launched this. I think he launched this challenge with Winter Inn. Anyway, it's like a record wing challenge. So you eat more wings than the previous record. You win 200 bucks. Well, it's kind of a progressive jackpot, but essentially 200 bucks. So why this challenge is getting in the top 10 is just because the food. 
the wings. Literally, I think these are the, probably the tastiest chicken wings I've ever had. This is the one time I've like ever actually enjoyed eating chicken wings without sauce on them. Like these things are just so seasoned, so moist. The staff were super cool. Um, and like, I would totally recommend the place. Not to mention it's really like nostalgic. There's history there. It's, um, it, it, it's, it's a great spot. That's it. Flat, flat none, everything was great. So why this challenge is making the top 10? Excellent tasty food, excellent staff experience, really cool location. So number six, we're going to July. So this is going to be the world's biggest milkshake challenge I did at The Lunchbox in Staten Island with my friend George Chigger. So what was so cool about this challenge was just the overall experience. One, it's a massive milkshake challenge. Like it's over a gallon of milkshake alone. You have to drink it through a freaking straw. What was so cool is me and George, we're going head to head. Um, we actually basically, like we finished at the same time and like we just gunned it. Cause there's not a lot of people out there that I would say have the, I wanna say like brain freeze capacity to just chug something so large and so cold. So although I do get brain freeze, I don't know if George actually does, for us to basically just power through that thing in like a couple minutes, destroy the old record, it was just really cool. We both like afterwards just like, that was so cool, like yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, so that's why that is number six of our top 10 challenges of 2019. All right, so I have a feeling we're gonna start maybe getting really close to 10 here, or maybe even getting over 10 here shortly. So I'm gonna try to restrain. So I'm gonna start with a safe bet. Um, next, number seven, seven of the top 10 burger channel or top 10 challenges in general of 2019 is going to be the Monster Burger Challenge at BG Burgers. So why this is making the top 10. So this was a challenge done by Randy Santel. If you beat his record, got $100 cash. So of course I set out to get $100. And what I actually found was actually a delicious burger. In fact, it was probably one of the best burgers. At that time, it was definitely my best or my favorite burger challenge, tasting burger challenge to date. The experience was cool. The staff were very supportive. The crowd there was really cool. So like, Excellent, seriously, probably the best, probably the best tasting challenge burger I've had. I've had a few more since. At the time, definitely the best tasting burger challenge I've ever had. Um, just delicious, great variety. I liked a little bit of the cheesecake and everything, even though I'm not a big cheesecake fan, nice to have that. 100 bucks cash, just a cool experience. My kind of first time doing a challenge in Ohio, and it was just a really cool, pleasant experience overall. It was a great weekend. I had a friend Aaron come out, and uh, yeah, no complaints. So number seven, BG Burgers, Monster Burger. So number eight, the eighth challenge making our top 10 is a challenge which is not even released yet. So if you're watching this, you're getting a bit of a inside scoop. So congratulations for watching this, especially to this point in the video. In fact, some of the other ones we're gonna talk about too are also not released yet. So this challenge I'm gonna talk about is going to be a 22 pound burger challenge. You heard that right, 22 pounds. This thing was monumentous. And this was in um, Maple Ridge, British Columbia. I got to meet up with a couple really, really, really good friends. Both my friend Scott, my friend Wynn, my friend Peter. Um, so what we had to do, we had to devour this 22 pound burger challenge. I won't tell you what happened because the video is not out yet, but overall, why that video is making our top 10, the challenge is Huge, literally the biggest burger I've ever attempted. The thing was like, it was massive. It was massive. Overall, tasty. Staff and crowd were really great. And just, so what's making that into our top 10 is just the overall experience of that. There was such a lead up to that challenge. That challenge we were planning for months. Literally, we had to plan this challenge months in advance. We're talking contact in the restaurant. I'm across the country. Um, like, our, the one gentleman, Wynn, was from Australia. This was a, a big, big, big thing to plan. And uh, so for, to see it all come together in the end, you know, regardless of how, what the outcome was, it was great. So definitely number eight, the Haney Pub Burger Challenge. The next challenge, which again is not released yet, this one's gonna be a long time before it's released. The last one is gonna be out quite a bit sooner, I think. Um, we're gonna talk about the Omelette Challenge at the Rise and Dine Cafe. So this is called the Wolverine Omelette, Omelette Challenge. And this was in, I believe, a place called Chesterland, Ohio. Um, so down there with my good friend, Mr. George, and Mr. Ronnie Hartman. And so what was so cool about this challenge? 
it tasted delicious, like mind blowing. It was my first omelet challenge actually, and it was so good. It set the bar super, super, super high. Again, the video's not out, I'm not gonna tell you the outcome, but it was about a five pound-ish omelet challenge. Mine was pretty big. But it was about a five-ish pound omelet challenge. You had, I think it was only 20 minutes, so a pretty short time limit, but it was just, oh, so good. And like good food and good friends and cool staff. Staff were really cool as well. Helps make the total overall experience. So we're gonna go with definitely that little omelet at the Rise and Dine Cafe. And again, video's coming up. Stay tuned. So now we're on to the last, the last top 10 challenge, the last one of the most memorable challenges of 2019. 2019 is over. And we have one challenge left to talk about. And the 10th, honestly, I can't just pick one. We have gone through some of the most memorable ones and now I'm just left with so many cool challenges that have just flooded like my memory. So many positive experiences. Had a very delicious burger with Miss Katie Prettyman uh, in Washington at a place called Flyers. Definitely a delicious tasting burger challenge. You got one of my top tasting burger challenges. I went to uh, Surrey, BC and attempted a record burger with a $200 cash prize, which you'll have to tune in for. Again, just a crazy experience. So much buildup, so much angst for going into that challenge. Uh, we had a crazy epic milkshake challenge I did with my friend Scott in Vancouver, British Columbia. We had massive uh, 16 pound bowls of pho I did with Miss Katina Eats Kilos. Literally, there's just so many amazing challenges. Not to mention all the cool things I did in Vegas. Heart Attack Grill, although it's not really a challenge. We had this crazy spicy Brahma Bull challenge at Sin City Smokers. The absolutely massive 10 pound Donair challenge at King of Donair. You gotta have a uh, baby shower for that. I don't know what this is, but it's big. The list goes on. So, guess what? I didn't just give you 10, I give you a whole bunch. And the reason why, because 2019 was such a cool year, and you know what made it great? All of you. Seriously, thank you so much for your viewership. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate all you guys coming out. Um, for example, I got to meet so many cool people when I was at the uh, King of Donair a couple weeks ago, eating their t massive 10 pound Donair. It was just like, it was great. I love meeting everybody. I love hearing your comments. Really appreciate the support, everybody. We have lots of crazy and new travels coming up this year, 2020. In fact, where travels are starting literally tomorrow or today, whenever you're watching this, like January 1st, 2020, already starting traveling. Um, it's gonna be busy, we're gonna have a lot of fun. I've had a great year, thanks to you. And uh, I wanna thank you for coming with me on this long, long journey. And guess what? We're not done yet. Mileage is gonna go up. For your information, currently, as of right now, I have 107 food challenge wins, and it's 107 different food challenge wins. So there are times where I redid challenges, those are not counted. 107 different food challenge wins. We have zero losses, not jinxing myself. We have wins in a lot of states now. I could count them out, but a lot of states. We have wins in quite a few provinces in Canada, definitely. Um, international travel is definitely gonna come up at some point as well. So definitely keep an eye out for that. And yeah, I think that's about it, everybody. So happy new year. Thank you very much, appreciate it. And uh, let's go to 2020. Let's eat. Ah, oh, well, I mean, come on. Of course you gotta stay happy, healthy, and hungry. Don't forget that. <laughs>